Right, so we've got another video today, guys. Someone asked me how to change the audio quality settings in the Apple Music, right? And I literally was like, do you know what? Another video. Here we go. So you can open your settings, right, guys? And you're going to scroll down to you get to the music app, which is right here, guys. Don't go into the music app directly. That is the first thing that you don't want to do because they were asking me that originally. They were like, don't you just go in the music app? And I'm like, no, you, you don't even though you should. Right, so you go into the music uh, tab in the settings and then you've got all your settings here. So, if you have unlimited data, only do this if you have unlimited data, turn on, uh, where is it? Download over mobile data button. Hit that button right there if you have unlimited data because it makes your life so much easier because when you're downloading music on the go, it's kind of like, yep, hit that tab right there. Don't need to worry about the data. But if you have a set limit of data every month, right? Just make sure that is off. Download in Dolby Atmos on Wi-Fi and uh, mobile data. Automatic downloads, music automatic downloads for offline listening. I have that off personally speaking. Animated art. So what that is, right? I'll show you right now. So if you go into a music uh, thing, let's just go on Happy Hits. Um, this sometimes animates, as you can see. So basically the artist will put an animation on the screen. So basically a bit of you know something for you to look at basically nothing major so then keep that on or switch on to wi-fi only if for example you have a limited data allowance then you got automatic downloads just said that i downloaded 34 gigs of music <laughs> yeah so uh yeah i've downloaded that all in high res lossless because where i work i've got no service at all and there's no wi-fi and obviously i want to listen to music in my in my uh, headset so i'm like Do you know what screw it i've got a 256 gig iphone why not i can afford 34 gigs but obviously if you don't have 256 gigs and you've only got 64 like most of you probably out there do um because you want to save money which is totally understandable um then you turn it to uh, not the high res lossless turn it on to like normal you know ac quality or whatever Still really good quality. You won't really notice the difference unless you're an audiophile, quite literally. So you switch on to audio, go on to audio quality real quick. Turn on lossless audio because that literally, if you have both 700 headphones, right, the QC ones, yeah, and you turn that on and you turn all this on to maximum, right, you're literally like, whoa, oh yeah, that's amazing. And you're literally banging your head literally and you're like, yes, that's incredible. Right, so mobile data streaming. I have mine on just maximum because I'm kind of like, well, I've got unlimited data. Thanks, EE. You know, I pay for pay for it now. It's gone up to £31 and it was 27 I'm like, damn. Right, I'm going to turn that on maximum now. You can pay for it. That's probably why it's gone up. Uh, so, my bad. Right, so it tells you exactly how much per minute it is and stuff. Personally speaking, if you're going to use you know, high res, that's only going to work if you have it plugged into a MacBook and like the actual cable and the speakers. So, you might as well just click, click it on the lossless mode because you're not going to hear that at all a l o c that's what a l a c stands for apple lossless audio codec uh then you've got a a c and then you've got high efficiency personally you could just click on high quality mode if you're just an average user and you just want to hear some music click on high quality mode and then you'll be good to go uh, if you want to hear a bit more quality in there hit it on lossless mode and then um and then you will hear a little bit of a difference like there if you're an audiophile and you know what you're looking for. Me personally, I'm not an audiophile, but I just love hearing really good quality songs, literally like Jules Benson or something like that. Uh, literally, like that is a that is a really good quality when you're listening to it on the car stereo on lossless. High res, you're gonna need your MacBook and your, your audio cables and you mean like you know your amplifier for high res lossless for all this stuff. So you can turn it on, but you're not gonna hear it, so it won't make a difference. And then you've got 5G and Wi-Fi streaming. This is for your, for your Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Again, it will tell you how many megabytes per song and how long that'll be. And then your downloads. I download mine in high-res lossless. I don't know why, because there's no point, really speaking. There is no point in me downloading it in high-res lossless because you're not going to hear it unless you're doing it on your MacBook with the cable, as I said before. So I might as well just click it on the lossless mode. So I'm basically losing so much storage on my phone <laughs> that I could be putting elsewhere. But do you know what? I might need it one day. So, yeah, hopefully Apple turns that into a Thunderbolt port on the 15 Pro and then, then it'll be useful, hopefully. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.